But Mark, let's move into our next topic. And I am going to be completely honest for those of you on YouTube that have clicked this video and are already typing in the comment section. This is a very first take like title. However, because of what happened to the Chiefs this past weekend, you blow a lead like they did. You lose to the Titans where Marcus Mariota was making his first playoff career start. I'm going to just blatantly ask, Mark, mm-hmm. should the Chiefs fire Andy Reid? No, they shouldn't fire Andy Reid. But I don't think the question is that ridiculous to ask. Mm-hmm. From the mindset of a similar mindset that we talk about, not comparing it, but to a Marvin Lewis, Chuck Pagano, you know, these guys where we kept saying, uh, when is enough enough? Mm-hmm. You know, when do you get sick of it? Um I think the Kansas City Chiefs are a different team than, say, the Cincinnati Bengals, um, where it's not a mediocre team. Mm -hmm. You know, I do believe that Andy Reid has potential to get somewhere. I mean, when it comes to the playoffs, he's almost 50%. So Only been to the Super Bowl once. I mean, I if you want to sit there, you know, everybody loses in the playoffs, Mm -hmm. right? Except for that one team that wins. Yeah. So people like to say, well, he lost this year, he lost that year, you know, he's lost three times in a row. But it's not Marvin Lewis where it's loss, 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 Only loss, that. Loss. He has, he's won. You know, mm-hmm. he, he has won. He did win a playoff game in 2015 for Kansas City um, in the playoffs. They just ran into do the Patriots. Mm-hmm. You know, they've, I think this loss is the only truly, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. The the loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers was kind of embarrassing too. These last two losses have been a little embarrassing, um, but at the same time, he's a great coach. I mean, you can't get around the fact that he is a good coach. If you really were to fire him right now and go out into uh, the wilderness of the coaching search, the mm-hmm. carousel, who are you going to get today that's going to be better than Andy Reid? No, well, here's what it is. And from what I feel is two things. One, Adam Schefter was talking on, I think it was Adam Shefty on NFL Live. And he, ma- no, was it? I don't know. I think it was. It was someone on ESPN. They made the comment of like, oh, it was Shefty. Cause he's like, I used to report for Kansas City and I used to be on the sidelines for their games. And he goes, The one thing that it's like when you're there is it's like a playoff game. You're an arrowhead. They'll go down 3-0 in the first. And the kind of just feeling of that stadium is like, oh, not again. Oh, this is not going to end well. And it's like, dude, it's 3-0 in the first. And just hearing that. I was like, this is yet again another segment where it's like, holy crap, I felt that before. Sure. You want to know why I felt that? Cub fans. Every time in the playoffs, it's, well, we're down one run, fuck it, it's over. It's the end, the curse is here. Well, that's because there are no, there's no such thing as a real Cubs fan. Except for, like, people like me. It's all a bunch of bandwagoners. Mickey Morandini, my favorite Cub of all time. Mm-hmm. Favorite Cub of all time, Mickey Morandini. Sure. However... That's what I related to is like, yeah. oh, my God, I felt that before. Like, I remember being in the playoffs the year we won the World Series and being like, fuck, like, no, nah, we're not like we're down two runs. It's mm. over. It's not going to happen. Like well, doubting a, your yeah. team. It's a proven fact that if you go on Twitter and post only mm-hmm. negative shit about your team during the game, they'll probably win to prove you wrong. It's a proven. Fact. Yeah. However, uh, it's should he be fired? No. The question, though, and what I think the answer is also no, is Andy Reid the guy to get the Chiefs over the hump? Is he that one? Is he the, to relate it back to the Cubs, is he the Joe Madden or is he the Lou Pinella? Lou Pinella got us to, I know Dusty Baker did also, but Lou Pinella got us to the playoffs consistently. Couldn't get us over that hump. I Joe think, Madden got mm-hmm. us over the hump. Yes, it also was young talent and Theo had something. It's not a perfect comparison. The point is, is Andy yeah. Reid the one to get the Chiefs over that hump and into the Super Bowl? Well, I mean, he's been to the Super Bowl before. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just kind of, 
I mean, it's, it's been a long time, but still, I, I look at it and I think this is a good team. What scares me a little bit mm-hmm. is what's going to happen with Alex Smith because Sean is is about to love me for a second, but Patrick th- Mahomes is starting next year. Prob- well, that's kind of where I'm going. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that we've seen the most we're going to see out of Alex Smith. Yeah. We're not going to see him getting better. Well, he's a game manager. We're not going to see more. I mean, what what they were able – I mean, not to not to toot my new coach's horn here, mm-hmm. but what Matt Nagy was able to get out of Alex Smith, uh, especially this year, has been great. Mm-hmm. This has been awesome. This has been a great year for Alex Smith. He will take it and probably go to some other team with it. Um, I think it will only be downhill from here for him. Uh, it's going to be what they can put for, you know, what coach they can get to really coach up Mahomes. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to be something that's important for it, uh, for the offensive coordinator side, uh, for your quarterback coach side. You know, that's going to be something that's important. They got to foster that um, development process because Alex Smith is not going to be the quarterback that's going to get you to the Super Bowl. Um but I think Mahomes has the potential to do it. We just kind of have to, you know, hope that he can continue to develop. Andy Reid will ensure that you get close. Mm-hmm. I mean, the man's only had what two years below five hundred. Um, if you include the five hundred seasons, he's only had four seasons that were yeah. five hundred or below out of his insanely long career of. It's getting close to two decades, you know, 18 years. I'm sorry, I missed one. He had one extra below 500. But he will always get you there. He will always get you close. What he needs is the people, uh, you know, the players that can go above and beyond and take you that extra level. I mean, if you had Andy Reid with like an Aaron Rodgers, you know, if you had him with a Drew Brees, one of these top-tier quarterbacks – there's no doubt that this guy will win Super Bowl year Super Bowls year after year. He needs that. And I'm not saying that he hasn't had good quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. But I don't think he had that caliber of a quarterback. I'm not well, putting Donovan McNabb or Michael Vick or Alex Smith at that Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees well, level. The best quarterback he's ever had is Donovan McNabb. Yeah. That's the best one. But also the thing with the McNabb ones – was the, like, I'm starting, I know 2001 was the start of the championship, the conference championship runs, but, like, right now I'm looking at the 2002 season. They had a fairly good defense. Like, guys that are on this team that it's like, holy shit, I don't, like, Troy Vincent. I looked at, um what was it, a young Al Harris, a Brian Dawkins. They had um Brian Westbrook this year. That mm-hmm. year, that was big for them. The wide receivers were kind of like, okay, like not. It was nothing like huge until like maybe it's me because I was so young when To came to town. Well, sure. And it was basically To. Like I'm looking at 03 right now, and basically the best receiver. I'm not even like maybe it was because I was so young. I was 13 years old. I didn't really like focus on any of the Philadelphia wide receivers. Then in 08, I believe no. It was the L4 season was the T.O. season. Mm-hmm. That's when they went to the Super Bowl against the Patriots. That was the year I thought for sure the Eagles were going to win that Super Bowl. I really did. Part of it was because I hated the Patriots. but If they were in New York, maybe they would have. Maybe but. they would have in New York. But I just I feel like, is Andy Reid a bad coach? No. And I feel stupid for asking that question. I just have a hard time believing if he's the guy to get the Chiefs over the hump. I feel like Andy Reid is that coach for the Chiefs where it's like he turned our he turned our team around. He set up the foundation for now for us to after this next year after this year, let's go get a guy who can work with Mahomes. Because virtually yeah, Mahomes will be his third year next year, not this year. So not 2018 but 2019 mm-hmm. will be his third year. Virtually, you're hoping the same thing with like Goff and Trubisky, where it's one the first year is a full starter, then in that second year as a full starter, we get you a coach to be yours, to lock in and be yours. However, 
Andy Reid, it's like the thing I like about him, like I mentioned the first segment, the motivator, the the guy who, like hearing Nagy talk about him today, it's like, wow, he's a good coach. But is he the one, like I'm coming back to it, is he the one to get them over the hurdle? Is he? I, I, I don't think, think with so. A, I think with a better quarterback, I think he could. I don't see a reason why he mm-hmm. couldn't win. If you have this team right now, and, and and Alex Smith had a phenomenal season. I'm not trying to take that away from Alex Smith. Mm-hmm. He had a great season this year. Um, but if you had one of those quarterbacks who goes out and wins games on their own, mm-hmm. if you have a guy like that, this team, I think they're a favorite in the AFC. Because back when Alex Smith at the beginning of this season was going out and winning games on his own, mm-hmm. Kareem Hunt was there. That was when he was really taking off. Um, but he was going out there. Think about that Patriots game when he was throwing all over that defense. You're talking about week one. Week one. He was throwing all over that defense. That was the game where he came out there and said, everybody who wants to say the you know the name Mahomes, you shut up and you sit down. <laughs> this is still my team. That's the kind of guy who could have won a Super Bowl. That's why in that stretch of, what was it, five, six games in a row mm-hmm. uh, for wins, we're all talking about how they were a Super Bowl favorite. I'm pretty sure we had the t- conversation on this very podcast, you know, about the Chiefs being a Super Bowl favorite for Super Bowl Lee. Uh for Super Bowl Lee. But it's that's not what happened the rest of the season. You know, even though he had a great season, he did come back down a little bit. Uh he's not the guy who can take over the game himself necessarily. Um and that I think that's really what Andy Reid needs to have. In order to get that success, because you know he's going to get you to the playoffs all the time. Mm-hmm. That's what the man does. He's only missed the playoffs, you know, what six times in his career. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. He can get you there. It just needs to have that guy to help him get it done. I want to ask you this question: Coming mm-hmm. into this year, Andy Reid was in a contract year. However, before the year even started, I believe he signed an extension. That extension is for five more years. So old contract is done. Extension kicks in for this upcoming season. What I want to ask you is this. If we're playing the game of how long does he last? How long do you think Andy Reid, does he last the whole five-year extension? Does he get fired halfway in between? Does he not make it to the end? It's interesting right now because Andy Reid... um... Let's, I'm just looking at one thing. He'll be 60 by the time the next season starts. Mm-hmm. So this next... Um, Which isn't that old for a head coach. No, I mean, you know, you have coaches that coach in their 70s. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, you also have coaches who will retire due to health issues or mm-hmm. to actually spend a day or two with their with family. Their family. Um, and he might be that kind of guy. Uh, especially because Andy Reid has not necessarily been known for being the healthiest of men out I there. I mean, he's lost some weight. He has. He definitely has. Um, the walrus? Yeah. Well, they don't – can't really <laughs> call him the walrus after he just said he lost some weight. No, but he, uh, the mustache, yeah. he looks like a walrus. Um, I still, whenever whenever it's cold, I think of uh, – um, Oh, who was it? Who was Jeff Fisher with the the mucus mustache? Oh, the I frozen. Thought, uh, I'm thinking. Boogers. I'm thinking college side. No, I think I of uh, Jerry Kill with uh, um, Minnesota. He was the one that had diabetes, mm-hmm. and he had to get his sugar levels up. So it's below freezing, and he's eating an ice cream bar. That's awesome. Hey, <laughs> I chocolate would, eclair on the I sideline. honestly, I would do it myself. <laughs> I would definitely do that. Um, yeah, my my wife always is like, "Why do you want ice cream right now? It's ten degrees mm-hmm. outside." Okay, it's ice cream. It's ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> like you're telling me, I'm not gonna want to go to a cold stone. But anyways, um, living close to a cold stone has changed my life. Do you? Oh, I live like five huh? minutes away from a cold stone. It's I don't know amazing. where the cold stone. Maybe I go there. You've sometime. never been to a cold stone? I've never been to that one. Oh, okay. I used to be. That's a good I one. used to be the. Uh, I'm gonna say the douchebag kid that mm-hmm. would be. I would have like a big thing of pennies. And I would just throw it in the bucket, they'd sing their song. Throw it in yeah. the bucket, they'd sing their song. For anyone who doesn't know, because I don't know if Cold Stone's a regional thing or what, <laughs> um, 
it's it's an ice cream place, and when you tip them, they're supposed to sing. They do. I, I don't know if they still do. I don't they know if used still to when I was in high school. But if you tip them, they had to sing even a song if it was a penny. about ice cream, um, and they hated people like you. Uh-huh. Uh, so, anyways, about Andy Reid. Yeah, uh, and maybe and he likes ice cream. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's tough because he's at that age where, you know, you get to sixty four, you get to sixty five, mm-hmm. he can keep going. Yeah. And I really don't see if he has the same amount of success, I don't see Kansas City getting rid of him early. I can definitely see another, you know, 13 year run Mm -hmm. like a Philadelphia where he just goes as long as he can. The hard thing for Andy Reid was that he had a rough year in 2011, eight and eight. And then that four and 12 year last in the NFC East. That was that was the killer. That was the thing that they finally said, no, we can't do it. If he keeps getting you to the playoffs, I don't see Kansas City being that team to say, sorry, Andy, you got to get out of here. I just don't see it. And the thing I'm looking at right now is that 2013 draft. Huh. Would, would it have been the 2013 draft that followed that 2012 season? Yeah. Well, yeah. It would have been, right? 12-13. Funny thing is, Andy Reid had the number one pick in the draft then because he Mm -hmm. was with the Chiefs. They took Eric Fisher. Yeah, that was a bad year. That was the draft. The Eagles at four took Lane Johnson. Yeah, that was not a good year. Mm -hmm. Like that draft, we should just forget that it ever happened. Eric Fisher, Luke Jokel. Yep. um, Deion Jordan, Lane Johnson, Ezekiel Anza. He's probably the best out of the top five. Yeah. The one probably doing the most out of the top five. Yeah, that was Dean, a rough year. Dean Milner to the Jets. I remember that. Do you remember who the Bears took? In 2013. 20th overall. Was That wasn't the Shea year, was it? No, he's a guard. He's a really good guard. Oh, Gabe Kareem. <laughs> nope. No? Nope. Oh, I'm missing Kyle Long. Kyle Long. <laughs> I, well, I said Gabe Kareem, but I was, I was thinking like, Kyle Long. I'm like, Gabe Kareem was, was like good. 10 years yeah, he's not good. previous to that or whatever. No, I don't remember how good. old Gabe Kareem was. Um, yeah, that was like the one. Mm-hmm. That's like the one lasting um, that, thing from, from that era. That the, was my uh, favorite. The Emory dra- era. By the way, that was my favorite draft for the Vikings. Yeah. That's the one where we got Sharif Floyd, Xavier Rhodes, and Cordell Patterson in the first round. Where we got all of those guys in day one. And I remember them with their jerseys. But Andy Reid, that's who we're talking about. Final thoughts. Do you think that when the suit, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. They're close. The Chiefs have won the Super Bowl. Good stuff. Confetti is falling. Yeah. Travis Kelsey is cheering. Mm -hmm. Is Andy Reid the head coach? Yes. Okay. I don't, I think. With an ice cream cone. I th- I think no when the Chiefs zone. when the Chiefs win the Super Bowl Andy Reid is not the head coach I think I, that he's a good coach mm-hmm. he's going to win the Chiefs games get them in the playoffs but I don't think they win a Super Bowl under Andy Reid I think he'll get one I do within this five year contract or does he have to f- sign another extension depends uh. <laughs> Depends on when they'll start to let Mahomes play. Well, this is where you guys come in. Let us know what you guys think down below. Should the Chiefs fire Andy Reid? Will he make it through his five-year extension? Let us know what you guys think in the comment section.